lick the leads. My god! In this short video, let's discuss some Freedom Spec tuning tips. Well, and not only Freedom Spec, but tuning tips. With all honesty, and it's a little bit of shame, I'm not very good at tuning, but I'm pretty sure a good tune can help you win. So let me call my tuning professor. Oh, hello, good boy. So, I've been reviewing the data you sent over, the PIDs and the like, uh, and let's see here. Yeah, so what's your conclusion? Your shit pilot, yes, your shit. Garbage, mm -hmm. right here, says so. But, but how do I adjust my tune so that I could fly better? My god, listen to me, you must practice. That is it. You must practice. Go outside, fly, burn packs, go tighter, harder, more throttle, tighter lines. Do it. So my first recommendation for Freedom Spec tuning is to flash 4.3. If 4.3 is already released by the time you're watching this video, then you don't have to worry about nightly builds and release candidates. Of course, do not forget about latest 10.8 Beta Flight Configurator. Open presets tab and find Freedom Spec Tune. For every preset you're about to use, do not forget about checking the options list. Here I like Force Lipo Cell Count 3 and Pick. This little window warns you that this preset is using D-Shot, so if your ESC does not support D-Shot, you should not be using this preset. Don't click Save and Reboot just yet. Find your RC Link preset. I'm flying Ghost. And of course Racing. And I like Solid Race or Pure Race. And Pick. Agree. RC Link presets adjusting a couple of CLI parameters for your particular RC Link. They are allowing you to have clean feed forward traces and also as less delay as possible. After that, find the default RC smoothing preset. You can try race RC smoothing, but I prefer a little bit cleaner motor traces and a little bit cleaner set point at the cost of a little bit delay. All RC smoothing presets are about your stick feel, whether you like cinematic or you like sharp racing stick feel, that's all RC smoothing presets. And now save and reboot. So tune presets are about how well your quad is handling prop wash, how well your quad is tracking set point and how well your quad is resisting external forces. RC Link presets are specific for your RC Link, whether it's Ghost, Tracer, Express LRS 250 or 500. It is extremely critical to find your RC Link preset, especially if you are using high update rate links. And RC smoothing presets are about your stick feel. Now let's talk about the ideas behind the Freedom Spec Tune preset. Even though you can see I am listed as the author of this preset, but actually Sugar K and CTZ Snooze were helping me a lot, watching a lot of my black boxes from Freedom Spec, so big thanks to these two guys, they're, they're really awesome. And this uh, preset is still experimental, and um, I'm pretty sure in future we will improve it. For Freedom Spec, the top speed and acceleration are pretty damn critical. And some extra noise on motor traces at full throttle can reduce both top speed and acceleration dramatically. Imagine you're going full throttle and your D is a little bit too high. This makes flight controller commands to ESCs not consistent. The flight controller tells to ESC 80%, 100%, 95%, 85%. The motors cannot adjust RPM that quick. So instead of going, let's say, 98% all the time, they are going 90 and you're just 9% slower. And that wouldn't be a big deal on a full speed racing drone, but for Freedom Spec, let's say 8% is a big loss. So our Freedom Spec Tune preset prioritizes clean motor traces at full throttle, but it allows a little bit, a very tiny little bit of prop wash at the very hard maneuvers. And this prop wash is, is easy to fix, you just add a little bit more D or a little bit less TPA or a little bit less filtering, but that's not what I want. I want to go full speed on Freedom Spec. 
Also, this preset is built for a fairly clean frame. You can see the dynamic notch does not go lower than 180 Hz. This means if your frame has a resonance below 180 Hz, you might be in trouble. For example, let's look at this black box recording from Freedom Spec from one of my friends. These are four motor traces, full throttle. And here you can see that because of some noise, the motor traces are way more noisy than we want to. Some motors are like 90, 92, 98, and if we scroll further, it became worse. And here's even worse, look at that. Like, pilot gives full throttle, but the motors will be spinning like, I don't know, like 70% instead of full throttle. And you might say, wow, this quad was fly like garbage, I would definitely hear that and feel that. But no, this quad was flying pretty smooth, it just sounded pretty slow. Let's see the actual motor RPM here. And you can see the actual motor RPM is not that noisy, it's just slow. And so the pilot was like, well, I'm giving full throttle, I don't feel like this quad goes full throttle. The first thing to check in such situation is all the frame screws and motor screws. Tighten them up. Of course, you should also check how stiff your arms are. Maybe they're a little bit delaminated and they're twisting. And sure enough, in this situation, it helped. Even though it didn't remove all the noise, but we don't see that crazy noise anymore. Like, there's still something, but... Not that crazy anymore. Now we can try to address the rest of the noise with some filters, but first we need to figure out which frequency is that. Let's zoom it in and measure the distance between peaks. And you can see it says 159, maybe like 150 hertz. Yep, sounds about right. You can try to address this problem for example, adding one more dynamic notch and lowering the minimum frequency to, let's say, 120. You can also try to play with the static notch filters, but for my friend, for this particular problem, these settings helped. If you fly a good frame like this open racer, then you don't need to worry about all that. Now let's check the new black box after filter adjustments, and you can see the motor traces are way more clean. Now they're pretty much going full throttle, well, almost like 97, 99, and, and that's a fast quad already. Now you might be wondering, why it's still not 100% for all four motors? Well, when you go full throttle, even if you don't touch sticks, the quad still needs to stabilize itself so it goes straight. And the only way to get 100% on all four motors is to turn all PID values to zero, in this case, when you give full throttle, all your four motors will go 100%, but in this case your quad just will not go on the straight line and you will have to do the flight controller job with your fingers. Now when we fix the motor noise, we can scroll further down and you will see the next problem. You see these little weird spikes and uh, this is also not very good. And the new problem is related to poor RC lean quality. It's probably a bad antenna or something like that. But you can see this is RC command and is it is not consistent. Like sometimes it skips two frames and uh, that makes feed forward a bit crazy and it is doing crazy things. So in this situation, you probably should be fixing your antenna, your antenna or replacing receiver, something like that. I talked to Chris Thompson, CTZ Snooze, a Betaflight developer who is in charge of all these RC smoothing, feed-forward smoothing, and uh, he tried to teach me how it all works inside. Without going too deep, here are the main ideas. Three main problems that can affect your smooth flying. The first is actually poor RC lean quality. The second is poor quality of your sticks. And the third one is your own fingers. They they could be jittery too. Garbage! Mm -hmm. In all these three cases, the RC smoothing out of factor is a pretty powerful tool. It is located on the receiver's tab under RC smoothing. If you bring this value up, let's say 40 instead of 30, it will make your set point and feed forward smoother. But keep in mind, 
that the higher this value is, the bigger the delay between your sticks and the set point and feed forward. Also, if you have problems with your RC link quality or maybe your sticks are not very good, you should consider of running slower update rates for your RC link. Let's say you should run Express LRS 150 instead of 500. Because the consistency of incoming RC data packets is more important than the frequency. On PID tuning tab, there are more parameters in feed forward section you can play with. They have a very informative tool tips, but that's probably for another video and probably not by me, by someone like UAV Tesh and maybe CTZ Snooze himself. But one more time, in general, you don't have to worry about any of that. You just apply your RC link preset and you're good to go. No more excuses. For the next video, let's try to answer if a big capacitor can make your Freedom Spec Quad fly a little bit faster. And also for the next video, a small bonus, a couple of Freedom Spec batteries comparison. So, see you soon if I am not lazy.